Libra, what's good? Welcome to my channel. My name is Onwar, professionally known as DJ Onwar himself, and I do have an Instagram if you'd like to check it out. But if not, it's cool. That's not the reason we're here today, right, Libra? We're going to take a look into your recent past, your present, and see what you got coming in for you in the near future. This is for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements. Keep in mind that not everything you hear is going to resonate with you, so if you hear something that doesn't sound like it's your story, there's a good chance that it's not. Go ahead and leave that behind. This is a love reading, so if you're not here for love, you're in the right place. All right, please, Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements in love. Libra, how you doing? You look good. Please let me clear out your messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising placements in love. All right. Overall, energy. Six of Cups, nostalgia. Thinking of someone from your past, possibly wanting to reconnect with someone from your past. Someone that you had a home dynamic with, possibly could have lived with this person. Ten of Pentacles in the situation, heart of the matter. The challenge here is, do I go or do I not? It looks like you're wanting to reconcile with someone from your past, but you're not sure if you should or not. You got judgment in your challenge. Sagittarius energy. Could also be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, but you don't have to be. So the heart of the matter here, you got the Ten of Pentacles. This is a home dynamic. This is uh, living together, living shacked up with somebody. But not just shacking up friends will benefit this is this is something serious here this could have been a marriage could be a, a relationship but this is a family dynamic the reasons all happening very clear here you're walking away from this if this isn't you walking away uh, someone possibly walked away from you i feel like you're walking away and you're making a judgment call do i go back do i go back to this person or do i not i feel like you're whoever this person is you you're thinking about them and you're thinking about how good it was, but there's something which we haven't got to, but there's something saying, you know what, I need to get away from this. I need to walk away. I need to just go. And you're having a hard time making the judgment call. For some of you, you possibly could have already walked away. You could be about to walk away or currently walking away. Could be in the U-Haul watching this damn reading right now. In the recent past, somebody was focused on their money. Possibly a little bit too focused on their money. Not putting too much love into the connection. In your conscious goal, you're ready to take action. You have a new idea, you have a new direction you want to go, and you're ready to take action on it. It's something creative, it's something that you're proud of, something that you have a lot of hope in and you really believe in. But I feel like you have to walk away from this in order to, uh, to do that, but it's still just a goal. It's still just a goal. Judgment call hasn't been made. In the uh, near future, there's going to be a situation that is going to have you guarded. You're going to be defensive about something. We'll clarify it, see what that is. Your current attitude right now, you're feeling stuck and trapped. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Now, you see these chains? You're feeling trapped to this person, stuck. You're wanting to walk away. You could be stuck because of finance. Money could be holding you there. Stability could be holding you there. Looks like this person is very well off, whoever you're dealing with. For some of you, it could be you. Keep in mind this is general, so uh, no two Libras are going to be dealing with the same people or situations. It could be flippy floppy for everybody. Reverse the roles as they fit best for you and your situation. <coughs> Excuse me. External to you in your environment, someone you're dealing with, they're, um, they're not interested. I feel like somebody could be walking away from you. They possibly could be seeing you as not interested. They possibly could be making you offers and you're like, yeah, you know what, that's not enough. I need something more. Four of Cups, upright. This is boredom. Someone's bored in this connection. It's possibly you bored in this connection. Possibly because someone's given too much to work. They're not focused too much on the... It looks like there's not much love here. It looks like somebody's more all about their pinnacles. Somebody is all about their stability. And the little bit of love that they offer, and it possibly could be artificial, possibly could be a toxic love they're offering, and somebody's just not that interested. Like, is that all you got? How about you put some of that time that you put into your work? How about you put that time into me? In your hopes and fears, you're hoping to be able to go into a partnership, come together, meet with somebody, and come together and say, hey, look, this is what I got in my cup. What's in your cup? Mm -hmm. All right, looks good. 
Let's dig in. You're hoping to be able to go into some type of partnership, a relationship, two of cups. This could be a soulmate uh, uh, that you're dealing with. And any potential outcome, we'll come back to that. So, Libra, what I'm seeing so far is that somebody's walking away from a somebody's walking away from a home situation, a home dynamic. Uh, possibly the person that you're dealing with, possibly they're not showing interest, and that's why you're walking away. Or it could be vice versa. Possibly they're not interested in you, or they're not showing interest in you, and that's why you're walking away. It looks like somebody's really, really concerned about their finances and their uh, stability. And a judgment call here needs to be made. Do I entertain this? Do I stay here? Do I go back to this? Or do I move on? This is a hard decision to make, though. And that's why this is a challenge. I feel like somebody possibly already did walk away. And is making a judgment call. Do I return to that? Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for the recent past, please. Give me clear and accurate messages. So, whatever this was, uh, somebody put down this burden. This was a long time coming, too, Libra. This is something. You got those tens, which is completed. So, this has been a long time coming. Somebody was focused too much on their money and not too much love. It's like somebody has, like, all this abundance and all this, but it's like, I need more. I need more. You have this big-ass pinnacle in your hand. But look at your face. You're just looking at this pinnacle like, is that all I got? While someone else over here is waiting for some real love to come through. It's like, you're holding this pinnacle, but where's the love? Oh, here, let me give you a little bit. No, that's a breadcrumb. I don't want that. Can I get some real love? This is in your person's energy. Now, they, this could be how your person is feeling, or this is how they could be seeing you. And we'll clarify. Whatever it is, it's a burden, and this person is putting down, and it's been a burden for a while. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles for the situation, for the heart of the matter, please. You're possibly waiting for some type of breakthrough, waiting for some clarity. Could be waiting for some answers. You could have found out something. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. So you found out possibly that you got the Ace of Cups, Passion and New Beginning, you got the High Priestess in the upright, and you have the Sun in the upright. Two major arcanas. So this looks like a Passion and New Beginning. Your intuition is telling you that you that this isn't where you're supposed to be. Your intuition is telling you that your happiness is in something new. Your intuition is speaking to you loud and clear. You possibly could be feeling like this person has some secrets. Clarifying the Ace of Swords... You possibly found out. You possibly got a breakthrough and found out some secrets and found out something that you were... Found out something wasn't really as it was. Possibly could have found out that your person went to and had a new beginning elsewhere. Trying to find their happiness. Or this could be you actually trying to go... Uh, your intuition telling you, get out of this. Walk away from this. Make this judgment call. Go find your happiness. Your happiness is waiting for you. You have a passion new beginning elsewhere. Get out of this toxic situation. Free yourself. Clarify judgment, please. Please clarify judgment. Major Arcana, clarified by Major. You got a lot of Majors out here. Uh, judgment, clarified by the Emperor. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an uh, a Aries. A lot of fire, so I want to say that there's, you are dealing with a fire sign. You don't have to be, but I do see a lot of fire out here. I see Leo. Um... There's a judgment call, and someone needs so someone needs to take charge and make this judgment call. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's really strict and and about their way, and it's like their way or no way. Somebody who feels like they need to be in charge, or or they're just naturally in charge. It's not even like a persona; it's just who they are, and they're really strict and stubborn. You could be feeling like no matter what you choose, it could be the wrong decision. And that's why you're not making it. You could be feeling like this person's going to lose their shit if you walk away from them. Tell me about the Page of Wands. 
So this idea you have, you want to take your offer of love somewhere else. It looks like you want to move out of this connection and go move somewhere else. You possibly are seeing, look at this. You're seeing a new beginning somewhere else. Look at this. You are heading straight for a passing new beginning partnership elsewhere. As soon as you free yourself from this. This is your conscious goal. And this is the idea that you have. You could be talking to somebody like, oh, this sounds like a good idea. I want to go this way, but ugh, I'm stuck in this right there. I got to walk away from this. And your person doesn't want you to. Actually, I don't see that they don't want you to. I don't see like anyone's trying to stop you. It looks like, honestly, you know, it looks like this person possibly doesn't even care. Not yet, anyway. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please. You possibly are walking away. You feel like your person is, <coughs> excuse me, dealing with someone else. You want to walk away and get your and get your feet back planted uh, firmly on the ground. This is an unstable situation that you're in, and it's like you want to walk away and just get your get your get your groove back. You got the Queen of Wands, fiery, more fire energy. You could be walking away from somebody. You could have possibly been the other person in this situation. Or felt like you're the other person and you're walking away from that. Tell me about the tell me about the devil. So you're healing. You're healing from whatever was burdensome from you that you are walking away from. You're doing some healing and staying hopeful. Uh, hopeful. Somebody put you through the ringer. And that's why you're so guarded. Tell me about the Four of Cups for the external energy for Libra. So someone's not interested in this connection or in a commitment. You could be offering this person a commitment or vice versa. Could be offering a commitment and they're just not uh, interested in it. This possibly they possibly could be seeing you as wanting more of a commitment, and they're not able to give that to you. They're not ready to give it to you. They just want to possibly just be in a. I don't even see it. I don't even see like a friends with benefits situation here. I, all I see is that it's like a shack up situation, almost like roommates. Because I don't see any love on your person's part. This person could be feeling rejected by you. I feel like your person's feeling rejected. Possibly they do want this. Uh, possibly they do want a commitment out of you. And you're not wanting it. You're wanting to go elsewhere. And they're feeling rejected. How does this person see Libra? Uh, two. Okay, well. They are determined. Oh, it's very clear. Uh, seven of Wands, the Fool, and the Six of Wands, all upright. Your person wants to take a... They see a victory here. They are determined to take this leap of faith with you. They are determined to take a risk because they feel like there's a victory here. This is how they see you. They possibly could be seeing you. Again, verse, roles can be reversed. They possibly could be seeing you as determined to take a risk and to go get your victory elsewhere. Possibly this... Ace of Cups is passing new beginning that you have coming in for you. This is how your person's seeing you. They're seeing that you are determined to walk away from this and go towards your victory, but the victory isn't with them. And you want to take a risk. This is a risk. You're going to take a major risk by walking away. You could be walking away from a lot of stability. You got you got ten pinnacles here. You're taking a major risk by walking away from this, but. You want your happiness, and you want to get there at all costs. It doesn't matter. How does this person feel about Libra? What's what's in this person's heart towards Libra? They feel the feels. They're feeling uh, emotional, um, uh, emotionally expressive. They're emotionally vulnerable. They wear their heart on their sleeve. They're not afraid to show their emotions. They're not afraid to speak about their emotions.
How do you see, how does Libra see this person? How does Libra see this person? You see this person, you possibly go to this person, you see this person as possibly being uh, left out. You see this person like just following you, like they won't let go. Kind of like holding on to your coattail, please don't go. And you're like, you know what, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta go. Where are we at? I'm over here. I'm, I've got to go, and I'm even going to walk away from all the stability. I'm not even paying attention. i got to go. Catch me if you can, but I'm going forward. How's this person... Um, I'm sorry, how do you feel? How does Libra feel about this person? What's in the viewer's heart towards this person? Justice. It could be done with the Libra. You are a Libra. Could be dealing with another Libra. But you're feeling like something needs to be uh, made fair. Whatever they did, they possibly could be owe you some money. You possibly could be waiting to leave until they pay you out. Or just split things evenly. If this is a divorce, you could be waiting for things to be split evenly. But you're you're feeling like something needs to be made fair. Or you could be fearing, uh, feeling like this is your justice. By walking away, this brings justice to the situation. You did what you got to do. I'm leaving. Now we're even. What does this person not want Libra to know? They don't want you to know that they're doing okay on their own. Free and independent. Again, all about their money. They're going to be alright is, is what they're, they're not telling you. Is that They're going to be fine financially without you. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for what's coming in. Too many cards. Tell me about the Nine of Wands for what's coming in, please. So your guard's going to be up. You possibly could. There could have been an opportunity that you're waiting for. a Some type of financial opportunity or opportunity at st uh, something stable that you're waiting for. But it looks like your guard's going to be up because it's not going to be coming in or it could be delayed. It's going to cause you to be guarded. You possibly could be waiting for this person to give you some money a payout if this is it could be alimony child support but in the near future what's coming in for you is the lack of this it's going to be a delay whether it doesn't come or it's just slow and you're gonna be really defensive about it let's look at your hopes and fears tell me about the two of cups so you're hoping for a new partnership. Tell me about the Two of Cups, please, for the hopes and fears of Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. So you're manifesting a new partnership. You're manifesting a new beginning here with someone else. Possibly this new beginning. You have someone in mind, Libra. You have someone on your radar, and you're going towards them. You're manifesting this. You feel like you have all the tools. You feel like you have everything it takes to get to this Two of Cups with this person. If only you can just get out of the situation. You could be waiting on a payout. You could be waiting, and that's the only reason why you can't walk away from this. Look, here it is. Judgment, justice. That's what this is, and I just got confirmation. You're waiting for a payout. You're waiting for this person to pay you out, to split the, uh, split the assets, split the home. You're waiting for a court decision, possibly, with judgment and justice. You're waiting for things to be a, a root on in your favor. This could be a divorce. And that's all that you need in order to go towards your passionate new beginning elsewhere. This two of cups that you're manifesting. You're waiting for, because this judgment is in the challenge. So that's what's crossing uh, the situation. You're waiting for someone, whether it's a court, this is a court card, so whether uh, whether it's a court decision or your person, you're waiting for someone to decide and say, okay, you get this, you get that, I get this, I get that. That way you can part ways. And you're staying hopeful, because this is current you, this is you currently, you're staying hopeful while being stuck to this situation, while being chained to this situation. This is codependency, the devil, this is codependency, it's everything toxic. And notice this chain, 
keep and you bound to this person. But you do have the star, which is healing, so you're healing from this. You could be stuck in this household with this person and trying to go through some healing. You could be sleeping in separate rooms. In your outcome, you have the four of pinnacles. This is holding on, unable to let go. You could be holding on to some money. Those are pinnacles now. You could be holding on to some money or somebody could be holding on to some money and not sharing it, not kicking down. Tell me. Please clarify the too many cards. That's half the deck. <laughs> Please clarify the four of pinnacles for the potential outcome. How many cards is that? Uh, not too bad. So we got three... Three cards, that's not bad. Okay, so clarifying for your outcome, we got the Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Tower, the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. This is going to be, um, there's going to be a, a upheaval. There's going to be a sudden shock. Possibly when all this goes and everything is all said and done, once this judgment is made, it's going to cause this Tower, and it's going to change everything in this connection. It's going to bring you to your Nine of Cups, which is Wish Fulfillment. Whatever you're wishing for here, Libra, your outcome is that once this tower hits, and I feel like this tower, the tower is, um, the tower comes and it's a sudden shock, and it's something that changes everything, it's something you don't see coming. Could be a divorce, it could be a court decision, it could be a court decision not going your way, not saying that that's the case, but that would be a tower. It's a realization, it's a, oh shit. But whatever this is in your outcome after all this plays out, is going to lead to a very emotional wish fulfillment here. Possibly exactly what you're wishing for, but not with this person. So that looks good. Let me get you some advice. What advice? And don't go nowhere because I got some oracles for you. What advice do you have for Libra for the most, for the best possible outcome? Gather more information and take action. Do your research. Figure out what you need to figure out and do your and uh, 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 take action. Go for what you want. Let's get some oracles. Please give me two oracles for Libra and the person that Libra is dealing with. Please give me two cards for Libra and the person that Libra is dealing with. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So I feel like this is telling you to um, communicate. To possibly, uh, possibly communicate with your new person. Possibly with the person that you're uh, currently dealing with. Have a hard conversation and see if this is really what you want. Whether you want to take this risk and walk away or if you want to stay. Whether you're moving towards another connection or not. This is suggesting that you might want to give your uh, relationship a chance. Now, for some of you guys, if you're in, <coughs> excuse me, if you're in abusive relationships, then of course that part of uh, that part of this reading doesn't belong to you; it belongs to someone else. But if you're dealing with a narcissist or uh, just someone who's abusive, then of course this isn't for you. But for those of you who uh, where it's just you know not so bad, just kind of want to entertain something else, it's suggesting that you give your relationship a chance and have some heart to heart conversations. Now, let's see who you're dealing with. Please connect me to all 12 signs of the Zodiac. Please connect me to all 12 signs of the Zodiac. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising in regards to Libra. Please connect me to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius... Aquarius, Gemini, and fellow Librans. Alright. If you're dealing with an Aries, Alright, if you're dealing with an Aries, um, it looks like there's an opportunity or there's going to be a delay in some type of opportunity, whether it's uh, you're starting a business or uh, something, something, what's the word that I'm looking for? In regards to your stability. Let me just show you. Ace of Pentacles, but in the reverse. 
So, whatever's coming towards you, there could be some type of delay. Maybe we're just too different. Dealing with a Leo. Your Leo wants to come back out and get there. They've been taking a little break and, you know, trying to, you know, pull back, fall back, take a break and try to figure things out within themselves. Um, just resting and really thinking, but it looks like they're getting up and getting, getting back out of bed, putting their shoes back on, picking up their swords and going back out into the game. I'm not the same person that you remember. They're coming back. Not, I don't mean come back around, but they're coming. They're getting back in the game. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, your Sagittarius wants to work on this with you. They could be uh, dealing with work. They could be working on something or, or building something, turning a, a, a hobby into a career. But I feel like they want to put in the work here. They want to. They do want to work on this. I feel damaged like I just can't do this. So possibly they're working on themselves. If you're, who are we doing? Cancer. If you're dealing with a Cancer, your Cancer, they uh, they figure out what they want. They just don't know which direction to go or how to get there, which path to take to get to what they want. But they have made a decision. We will be together again soon. That's their decision. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, looks like things have come to a stop. There could be a problem going to seeing each other. You guys could live at a distance. It could be some type of challenge getting to each other. Or the four, or things were going forward and they just came to a dead halt. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. If you're dealing with the Pisces. Your Pisces is no longer um, spying on you. They're no longer curious. Yeah. I want to be more authentic. I'm no longer afraid. Dealing with a Virgo. There could be a pregnancy. Or this just could be just a uh, new energy and things are, this is growing. You could be dealing with a celebrity or somebody who works in the limelight. Somebody who, who sees himself as a star or other people see them as a star. I'm more affected than you know. If you're dealing with a... Oh, wait. That's supposed to go down here so I don't lose count. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus is emotional, showing their emotional, possibly uh, expressing themselves emotionally. If they haven't, they will be. My heart is telling me just to do it. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they feel like their wish is coming true or that you're their wish fulfillment. But it's easier just to stay away for right now. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, there's going to be a breakthrough. You're going to get some type of clarity. My mind and heart always comes back to you. I feel like you guys can't see it. Let me put this here so you can kind of see. I was thinking about doing the second camera view again, but I don't know, it, it takes too long. It's worth it, but it takes too long, and it takes hours just to get the video up and all this. So I'd rather just do this. I can do it quicker. Who was that? Uh, Aquarius? If you're dealing with a Gemini, uh, the Gemini's given up. I feel safer in the silence. If you're dealing with a, do I have them all down? If you're dealing with a fellow Libra, looks like they can't get out of their head. They're holding on to these thoughts. They they can't get out of their head. Your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. Let me make sure I did 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's all 12. So, Libra, that's what I have for you. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you guys in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.